moon abducts the wife of jupiter tara and impregnates her jupiter tries to get hold of his wife taking help of all the devadas and finally claims back his wife but when he claims back his wife he realizes tara is already pregnant with with a baby so all the devadas ask tara whose baby it is tara doesn't have the answer but the baby in the womb himself cries out i belong to moon that was the communicative power of mercury tara was pregnant with mercury this is a old puranic story in shastras but this is not the story that has happened in 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 some some other dimension it is a story that just keeps on happening it is a natural phenomena that that keeps happening every time a baby is born every time a soul takes birth on this planet this story happens moon abducts the wife of jupiter and impregnates her what is moon moon is your mind moon is your mind your man your feeling what is jupiter jupiter and tara is one and the same they are representative of wisdom the divine wisdom that one has and when the mind abducts the wisdom out of that is born intelligence now what is intelligence intelligence is a faculty by which you can essentially learn everything possible you can acquire new skills whatever you can acquire using using your intelligence that comes under the realm of mercury and whatever you cannot acquire just by learning the skills that comes in the realm of jupiter jupiter is the wisdom and mercury is the intelligence and moon is the mind mercury rules two houses in his zodiac virgo and gemini virgo is the exaltation sign and gemini is the swakshetra now entire virgo is not the exaltation sign just the starting 0 to 15 degrees they are the exaltation then 15 to 20 degree is the uh, mool trikon then 20 to 30 is the swakshetra so that way 0 to 15 degree is the one in which mercury is exalted the opposite side of that is the acute debilitation point that is at the 15 degrees in pisces mercury is debilitated so all the analytical brain brain activities they come under the realm of mercury all the mathematics all the counting and such tasks they come all the analysis they come under mercury the money transactions the business diplomacy all these things are the characters of mercury mercury being born out of moon is the youngest of all so all the young ones are represented by mercury so mercury is the youngest sign mercury is the youngest planet among all so if anybody has mercury in the lagna or mercury very powerful then they tend to look very young throughout their life like you will feel that they are not getting old at all it is also one of the fastest planet it takes around 66 days to complete one revolution around sun so it is one of the fastest planet among all so that basically gives it a, a a level of indecision in the person when mercury is in there in the lagna then you will find such person quite indecisive in nature because of mercury because of that lack of stability that mercury provides now we will study the uh, the effect of mercury in various kakshas okay in the kaksha analysis video that we had done earlier Uh, we have seen how each bhava is divided into eight kakshas and each kaksha is lorded by one of the eight planets okay uh, excluding rahu ketu but including lagna okay they are there in this order like lagna then uh, moon mercury venus then uh, sun mars jupiter and saturn so that way the eight e- equal kakshas of a bhava are ruled by these planets 
so in this video we will study we will see how a presence of mercury in each of the kaksha can give a unique flavor to one's personality okay for example if mercury is there in the kaksha in your natal chart mercury is there in the kaksha of saturn then the person will apply mercury apply his intelligence to some to the qualities of saturn okay to the karkatras of saturn like saturn uh, saturn does gambling okay saturn acquires the uh, the the cattle and all uh, uh, gives the gives access to lot of servants okay so mercury if mercury is there in that kaksha then the person will apply his intelligence to all the things that are represented by saturn now if saturn is not donating a point over there if saturn is not donating a bindu in that rashi where mercury is then that karkatva is is kind of defunct okay so let's say that uh, uh, when saturn is donating donating a bindu in that sign then the person will have, will will be interested in gambling and he'll mostly win also okay he'll have access to a lot of servants he'll have access to a lot of cattle and all those significations of mercury uh, saturn will be will be effective but when saturn is not donating a bindu then the person will be interested in gambling but he'll not win he'll lose all his wealth in that okay so that way basically the karkatvas of saturn will be afflicted on account of his application of intelligence okay likewise if you see mars is donating a bindu uh, in the sign where mercury is there okay and mercury is in the kaksha of mars then in that case you will see that the person is applying his intelligence to create fighting okay he is fighting with enemies so if mars mars is donating a bindu over there then the person will win okay he'll become the leader of his society or his place on account of such fightings but if mars is not donating a bindu then such person will lose in the war okay but still his intelligence there will be there in always creating such kind of fights okay likewise if if jupiter is over there if mercury is there in the kaksha of jupiter and jupiter is donating a bindu then the person will be very prosperous okay he will get married he will be prosperous he will have kids and all those karkatvas of jupiter will come into play very uh, in a very nice fashion but if jupiter is not donating a bindu and mercury is there in the kaksha of jupiter then the person will be like uh, he'll be looking looking to other wives okay kind of immoral character will come into his life and uh, and jupiter's karkatvas will be afflicted okay difficulty in getting sun or uh, he'll not be following the religious rituals he'll not be respecting the elders that way now if moon is uh, if mercury is in the kaksha of moon and moon is donating a bindu okay moon represents society okay so his intelligence in a, his intelligence his diplomacy in dealing with society will be very good okay he'll have lot of friends and he'll make he'll make good relations with all the people in society but if moon is not donating a bindu then on the, the contrary result will happen right he will not be able to make friends in the society he'll be uh, he'll be having trouble maintaining relationship with other people in the society okay likewise if mercury is donating a bindu and mercury is in the kaksha of mercury then it is very good for the communication okay all the karkatvas of mercury is is uh, automatically uh, automatically elated because of mercury being in the kaksha of mercury but if mercury is not donating a bindu then such things will not be there okay he will not be very good in writing he will not be very good in communication he will not be very neat and clean okay he will not be very um, comely in the appearance so those results will happen if mercury is Uh, in the kaksha of lagna and lagna is donating a bindu over there 
then it is very good for the character of the person because lagna represents the character of the person and mercury is the intelligence being used to build that character so the person will be very good character okay he'll have very good relationship with others and uh, very honest and uh, you can say in society he'll be having a very good character but on the contrary result will happen if lagna is not donating a bit he'll be very wicked and sinful kind of person and very immodest uh, immodest in the society likewise if mercury is there in the kaksha of venus and uh, donating a uh, bindu okay with the positive bindu then the person will have good relationship in the society he will be taking religious vow he will be uh, following the scriptures and he will be uh, he will be uh, well respected among the good men in society but if venus is not donating a bindu and mercury is in the kaksha of venus then uh, the contrary result will happen a person will not have good relationship in the society and uh, he will be basically immoral kind of character in society he will not be treated he will not be respected well among among the good people in the society so just by based just based on the kaksha technique one can determine where his intelligence is getting applied okay like here mercury is the is the uh, is the intelligence that person applies to to attain various things now if mercury is in the kaksha of saturn then the intelligence will be applied in, in the karakatras of saturn like gambling and and uh, now positive bindu will represent the positive sides of saturn and negative bindu will have will give the negative sides of saturn okay he may even become a thief if saturn is not there and because he is applying his intelligence in that area so he may turn into a thief or such kind of person but he if he is applying in the good area then saturn saturn also means the yoga and very spiritual and saintly kind of person okay somebody a very sanyasi or yogi kind of person then the person will apply his intelligence for that purpose if he is having good bindus if mars like we just now studied all the bindus all the all the various uh, planets uh, meaning of various planet kakshas for mercury so that way you can apply it in your charts and see and just comment on the youtube thank you everyone.